What's up guys? This is a quick video on how to handle a woman that wants you to chase her. She's mad, mad because you're not chasing her, right? Now, oftentimes this happens when a girl actually likes you. And the problem is the fact that she likes you, she wants you to call her, chase her, this kind of thing. Because when a woman gives you mixed signals, she wants to gain control in the relationship, right? So oftentimes, like uh, a woman will hint you know, hey, I, I called you and uh, you never called me back. Uh, she wants a call for a call, like a tit for tat. Now, chances are, guys, you should be busy. But if you're not busy, you have to let her know, listen, here's, here's one, I, you know, your schedule is not predicated on when she wants to see you, right? It's when you become available. And she needs to understand that. So a lot of times a woman will pull the power play of, getting upset or pretending to be upset. She can be genuinely mad, but if you hold on to your masculine frame and let her go, let her be mad, she'll be all right. Let her go home and think about it. And after a while, she will appreciate the fact that you was masculine enough to stand firm, right? I mean, you're doing this on your own purpose. It's not malicious, not there to hurt her, but you're there to, 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 you're there to represent your masculinity and your principles, what you stand for, okay? Women will respect that. If she still gives you flack after maybe a day or two, she thought about it. Usually women will think about it and they'll say, you know, they'll rationalize. They'll say, I, I, I kind of see this point. I understand that. And then they'll actually, it's, it's actually a shit testament verse, right? It's a shit testament verse when guys do it, right? By being masculine. Right. Let her know my word is what I'm saying. My word is bond. Right. My word is is I'm standing on my ten toes. I'm standing on my word. Right. And once she understands that and that you're serious about it, she'll respect you. And it also helps you create um, uh, respect in the, in the boundary sense. Right. For for the things that you actually expect in a relationship. Right. She could fulfill those things or not. But this gives her a nice little nugget to let her know that when you push too much, you know, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. When I'm done with that, then we can have fun. Then we can celebrate. Then we can do what you want to do. But first, my standards come first, right? Once she understands that, she'll be more compliant and she'll be a little more loving. And again, you reciprocate likewise.